Okay, to finish this off, we're going to compress the lip. So I'm just gonna put a little water there and compress it. Another way to finish the lip is to take a paper towel, right? Just take a piece of paper towel and wet it. Right. And then fold it in half and just drape it over the lip and push down. And that will give you a more rounded lip. Okay. And then you're going to take the knife, the wood knife, and wet it. And again, you want to brace your arms. Oh, I just noticed that I have a little wet spot there. Okay. So you got to brace it on your arms and hold it as tight as you can. And you're going to trim. You're just going to go straight down from where you see it's thick down to the wheel head. Okay, and then use your needle tool to go underneath that. And then stop your wheel and pick that up. Okay, now this, as I'm looking down the wall, I can still, I can see it's still a little bit thick. Can you get a picture of that right down there? Okay, so I could continue to bring it up and thin it out a bit, or, I can take one of my trimming tools, you have two of them, and just brace it on the inside and take a little bit of that thickness off here. Okay, usually we use these when the clay is a little bit drier, but you can also do it when it's wet like this. And then if I want to get rid of those ridges, I just took off a little clay. I could also use my metal rib, and again, I'm bracing on the inside while I do this, and I could smooth out the outside. I'm holding it at an angle. You don't want to hold your rib here because the clay will pick it. Uh, it'll get stuck in the clay and drag. And then now, I also want to put a groove in here. So I could trim this off here. I want to put a groove in at the very bottom and use my wire cutter to cut that off. I want to hold this as tight as I can and just uh, turn my wheel on just a little bit and slide that underneath. Now in the beginning, chances are that you might go through the first time or as you cut it off, the wire's going to go up. There's so many little things that take practice and through practice you build skill. And eventually, you'll get to where you can let me dry my hands off and pick that up. And that is the first form that we'll be making on the wheel. We'll be centering the clay and making a cylinder. Um, now you would take this and put it on a bat or a board to dry.